Hi, I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9 Papa India Echo. Purpose of this video is to talk a little bit about the feature changes that we've introduced in Hammerdio Deluxe Logbook 6.2. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the cluster field changes, support for AR cluster, work status indicator and filtering alerts, and the automatic updates for the country list. First of all, in the DX cluster, we've changed a number of things that were causing some confusion. Some of the fields weren't um, up to date or relevant. Some of them were just flat out uh, invalid. So I'm going to go through some of what we've done to make them a lot easier to use. To get to this, um, I went and clicked um, on options under DX cluster. And um, I'm going to select the layout. And the first thing we can notice here is that for all the fields that are now available, the, the name changes uh, on a number of them. And uh, if it begins with the word spot, then we know that this is information that's provided from the DX cluster server. In other words, this was information provided as part of the spot from the DX cluster that you're connected to. The description um, down here gives a better uh, explanation of what this field is now. That's helpful. If the field begins with, uh, with HRD, this is um, information that is derived by Ham Radio Deluxe based on the information you've clicked on. Most commonly we see things like distance and heading, latitude, longitude, which you can see in my display down here below. Member Logbook of the World in EQSL is where we keep track of the membership of Logbook of the World in EQSL so that we can put a column and an indicator here to show you their membership that you see down here on my screen. And Work Status Indicators now have full explanations of what those fields are and it's a lot easier to understand. For example, the Work Status Indicator for Leaderboard um, is for working a station on every banded mode combination. And the note is this is not aligned with any DXCC country or modes needed award. Versus band award, for example, uh, this is the work status indicator that indicates that this country is not worked, worked or confirmed on the band that. The note here is that the value is assigned with or aligned with the band needed for uh, DXCC country. So this is the one that's useful for filling in your uh, country and band spots so that you can collect um, uh, band credits for your DXCC award or challenge credits. They're essentially the same thing. But all of the spot uh, fields are located there and uh, the explanations are here. I highly recommend selecting the defaults button and then um, filling in the fields that you um, are desired, uh, that you, you want to see. Um, it's uh, there are a lot since a lot of the fields changed some of them went away and so you need to make sure that uh, you start fresh from default so that you won't see any errors all right the next thing is that I'm going to look at the work status indicators now the work status indicators um, are, are the icons that show up for example it'll tell you that it's a green check mark if you confirm the country uh, yellow yield mark if you've worked the country but not confirmed it and then a red X if you have um, not worked the country. Let's just start with those three and then I'll get back to the rest of it. Uh, down here as always uh, you select the types of confirmations that you're interested in so I've selected paper, QSL cards and logbook of the world. So with that in mind we have uh, my layout here which Pre presently shows that um, all the spots are here indicating that uh, country, band, mode, logbook of the world, this is what I have in my display. So for this first one, let's say Austria, it shows that I've already worked this country and confirmed this country. I've confirmed Austria on uh, 17 meters. I've uh, confirmed Austria on phone. Uh, and we can see that over here as well. So I don't I don't need to work that one, uh, but I might need to work this one. Uh, this one just came through for uh, Mexico on 6 meters. And that tells me I've never worked Mexico on 6 meters. And particularly since they're logbook of the world users, I might want to go and chase after them uh, right away. But the point I'm making here is that there are a lot of spots in this display 
that I've already worked and confirmed and I don't particularly need to see them. So we've added uh, what's called a work status indicator field. This allows you to um, hide or filter out um, the spots that you don't need and only show the ones that you need for band mode or band or mode. All right. So I'm going to select band or mode. So what I'll see here is in my display all the ones that showed check 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 are now gone and filtered out of my view. And I can, uh, if I page down enough, I'll probably find like this one where uh, I've not worked Ghana on 17 meters, but I also haven't worked uh, Ghana on ready or digital modes. So um, they apply to either one of those two particular fields right now. It's just that uh, for mode, um, that's the only one showing up that I haven't confirmed. See a lot of yield signs here. Now you can combine this by selecting let's say I'm going to change to six meters so these combined just to show you uh, by band what you've uh, what you need to work so if I'm working six meters right now uh, I can see that there's a lot of DX out there right now that I've either not worked on six meters or that I've worked but haven't confirmed on six meters and even better these folks are all logbook of the, with the world users so I can go out and chase after them and uh, get the confirmation a bit quicker perhaps I'm going to change maybe to uh, 17 meters. So there aren't that many left here that I need on 17 meters, um, but the ones that I need are shown. So that's one approach to um, kind of filtering out the things in the display down to only what you need to work. So I'm going to go back to uh, removing that filter, and you can see I'm back into the original condition. Another thing that's been added is uh, the ability to um, color those rows. So maybe um, the work status indicator, the filter, maybe that's interesting but you want to uh, provide some color to that. So I um, click this and I'm going to accept the defaults and what we'll see is is that in the spots that uh, had you know banner mode X's in them or uh, X's or yield signs in them, I'm now seeing uh, color in that row and um, essentially does the same thing only leaves you with, uh, you, you have to flip through the, the spots that you need. What's interesting too is that if you use both of these, they're obviously all going to be colored because it's essentially achieving the same thing. So um, use that if you, if you desire. Um, a lot of people, in my opinion, will find that uh, the WSI filter uh, will accommodate their needs because the only thing shown on the screen at that point will be uh, DX that they need to work. Next thing I want to show is the um, automatic updates for the country list which is pretty important. Uh, you'll get there by selecting tools, global HRD settings and go down to auto update. You can select this to happen daily, weekly, monthly or you can do a one-time check so I'm going to click here it'll go out and find it I'm actually using the most current one. I've got uh, one date of the 20th. So I don't need to pick up this one. I'm, I'm the one managing the list. So that's why my uh, country list shows as uh, more recent. So by the time I upload this list um, to our server and folks start to either do this check for update or set up the automatic update, the list will come down to you automatically. Now the reason why that's important is not necessarily because there's a lot of changes to country data what happens to change quite often is the unique call signs which you can see that um, you know, I'm trying to keep them rather current uh, I add some periodically so you'll see them there and uh, it'll save you some time and effort trying to get uh, countries logged and then the last thing I guess I'll show in this video is uh, we have full support for AR cluster so um, I can close out here and I'm going to go connect to a different cluster node say W9ZRX. I'll connect to this one. And we can see that um, now we're connected to an AR cluster and it looks exactly identical to what it looked like um, for um, uh, DX Spider. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect back to uh, WA9PIE-2 which you can now find in the list and um, you're welcome to use it. 
Something that I, uh, a lot of people aren't aware of that I'll just demonstrate here is that in this show drop down, most normally folks will have it showing spots. That makes perfect sense. That's why we connect to these clusters. But it's also worth noting that um, it's good to look at the announcements. And uh, this is kind of a broadcast message uh, amongst folks connected to the cluster. Uh, WWV is also listed here. If your cluster supports WCY, that's uh, shown here. Console is just simply a uh, telnet screen that shows you the data that we're receiving from the cluster node. Um, typically doesn't need to be used unless you're going to uh, type something in from a command prompt. Like I'll say, show users. It'll show me the users connected to WA9PI-2. But a lot of folks weren't aware of what this stuff does, so I thought I'd just uh, highlight it while we're running the video here. So that's the scoop here. And so that's it for me right now. And uh, there'll be more videos. We're going to do videos for a lot of different uh, other products. So you're welcome to uh, tune in here on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash HRD Software. Thanks for listening, 73s.